Is that a problem? <laughs> <laughs> Explain. I can sleep on here and be an asher. I don't shed. think you get a, a trick in your neck. <laughs> it looks like your head is like cut off. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, we posted a video yesterday, but um, it's actually been a week since then. We have all of these things done. We've moved in completely. Well, I mean, there's still like things shoved in little corners and stuff, but it's been great and super awesome. And it's been, gone so smoothly and we're so happy here, but we actually haven't done a great job of filming like entire vlogs like we have like peace 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 so I'm gonna catch you up bring you up to speed yo um Eve's being silly first um I got this rug from Amazon and I did put all the books on the shelves and I did like a time lapse that I thought being kind of fun to watch um also i'm putting in the background one of my new favorite bands they're the ones that marissa and i saw when we were in philadelphia we just happened to be at the museum and there's this band playing and they were called lowland hum and they were amazing and so um i'm gonna use their one of their one of my favorite songs of theirs as the background music and i'm gonna put a link down below so you guys can go follow them on instagram or on youtube and if they're coming to a city near you go watch them perform. place here's like the final it's probably not the final because you know I'm always tinkering like I think the frame on that picture needs to be black um, but I'm happy with it Pearl's trying to lean out of the video here <laughs> no, no. 
Yeah, just I'll help you with your school stuff in a second. So that also brings me to school. I'll tell you about that. So when we were in Utah, we were kind of talking about different options and making friends here. And some of the kids said they wanted to go to public school for a short amount of time so they could make friends because we were worried that some of you live in a neighborhood and if as a homeschooler, you don't really ever meet the kids that are down the street. You know, you might meet the kids that are right in your general vicinity. That's definitely happened to us before. And so Asher said he wanted to go to public school and uh, we were gonna do Eve in public school again and Jude. And then Andrew said he wanted to try middle school for like a month. <laughs> and we're totally fine with that because, um, you know, we have done public school before in the past and we use it when we need to. But, um, so, Hasher and Jude went and, you know, it was okay. They, you know, I mean, that's the thing when you're used to having freedom and getting to choose your assignments, at least for Asher, it was kind of like, oh, is this how public school works? And then Jude went from half day kindergarten to full day. And so that was kind of rough for him. And it was also an almost an hour and a half earlier start than our old school. But um, Eve, we, you know, the school was reluctant and then they wanted to send her to the district school and so we went to check that out and we were like okay well maybe that's best and it was not we were not interested in that we went and checked out the classroom it was disorganized they were just watching a movie it's the the kids were very low functioning so Eve went to a day of that and then we said no we're not interested in doing that and they said well that's your only option and so we said well actually it's not we're gonna homeschool her and so there are a lot of parents of kids with Down syndrome who feel like this public school system can't meet their needs and who are homeschooling. And so we are just gonna figure it out and we're gonna make sure that her needs are met, that if there's any sort of therapy she needs, we just do them privately. And then um, we also, you know, figure out a curriculum and get her going. Also, really, you know, the IEP she got, the goals were very low for Eve. The expectations were very low. That's why they did not want her coming to the local school because they believed that she was very low functioning. And you know Eve at all, you know she's not low functioning, that there was probably some language barrier issues there still hanging on. Um, I don't know, but we have higher expectations for Eve and we know what she's capable of. So for now, we will be homeschooling her and, um, and meeting her needs that way. So, um, about that same time when that finally got figured out because that took like a week um, we just decided let's bring Asher and Jude home as well and we'll just homeschool all of our elementary school kids Daniel is still going to public school Esther didn't want to go here and Andrew is in the eighth grade here at least for now um, so there's a lot definitely an ebb and a flow and we're very flexible with how we use public school or don't use public school but that's the update on where we're at right now. Okay, so that's school. Let me see what else. Oh yes, we bought an RV. So if you came with us to the RV show a few weeks ago, we let you know that we've been actually thinking about getting another RV, not to move in and live in full time, but we totally miss that freedom to explore and to have your house with you. You know, when we were in Europe, we stayed in Airbnbs, which was cool because they were roomier, but it was constantly unpacking and packing and sleeping in different beds all the time. And so we really miss that when you travel with your RV, your home is always with you. So um, we started looking, we've really been talking about it since we got home uh, from Europe, but we started looking more seriously in the fall, then we went to the RV show, and then we actually went to the local camping world and kind of picked out an RV. So that's, I'll show you that here. So we're at Camping World, okay. and so, this Camping World is significant, why? Well, this was the place we started our, our research the first time around, back when we did this like years three ago. years ago. So we figured if we started there then, why not start there now? Let's go check it out. Yeah. It's cold out here. It's so I'll cold. Just say that. I feel like every time we look at RVs, it's miserable weather. We need to start coming when it's warm. You Anyways, want, you want we're not raining. Well, we've looked at a few, or yeah, a few. Yeah. And we're just discussing the the you know 
the values of one over the other. The hard part is we had such a perfectly spaced or sized you know, RV before because it's a fifth wheel. Fifth wheels are so much bigger, they have high ceilings. And so you do have to kind of like, okay, this is smaller. Um, but we're not living in it. And what you have to, rec like there, the one we looked at first, we're gonna go look at again. We don't have to make really any modifications to it to have not everybody be able to sleep in it. Don't they uh, have And anything. it's got two bathrooms, which I, there are very few travel trailers that have two bathrooms, but when you have 11 people waking up in the morning needing to go to the bathroom, you think it's not a big deal until you're actually there's a line a really and everybody is yeah. is kind of impatient about it including us and so i really like the layout of that one except for the living room's pretty small but mike says i like this music as background yeah. music mike was reminding me that you don't hang out in your rv you're gone all day you're not there just to hang out because you're not living in it well what, that's the point we're not living in this one anymore so <laughs> we just need <laughs> <laughs> that wind is like biting our ears we off. mostly just need to sleep everybody and have somewhere to go to the bathroom well let's give him a tour of this one now that he he ran to get a measuring okay. tape for us so this is kind of our first choice so far this radiance ultralight whatever i don't remember the model number Remember, you gotta clip it up for it to stay. So what do we like about this one is that it has an outdoor kitchen, but it's just a drawer, it's really small. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Wait, we, wait, you need to get that back in place. We think outdoor kitchens can be kind of a waste. Oh my gosh. That wind is pretty cold. <laughs> what, my, I also don't like that you come right into a wall. But again, like, if this isn't like the entryway to your home, I, yeah. to me it's a, I like that the space is proportioned, there's more space in the bedrooms than this one, so, and there's two bathrooms, so come on. I know we would be painting, but what we like is that it's very clean lines. Um, we would be taking this out because we never, ever, ever used, I mean that doesn't do anything for our family. I mean what, you can make like a couple pieces of toast in there, you know. But this is great. We can sleep. In this one, we can sleep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven kids if we wanted to. Could um, you put seven kids back here? Yes. That's what I'm saying. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you put two in each of these, these are well, wide. They are big these enough. Are, these are double size. Yeah. And then these fold out. Let's this folds out to Let's like a queen it. size. And then there's a bathroom back here, which is so great. Yeah. Um, takes up some of the floor space. You'll figure it out. It'll be easier when we actually... How does that work though with like the... But they can, there's still a little bit of room to walk. No, but there's like a di difference in like... See that like the lip right there? Um, or the height just, changes. You turn it over actually. You think that's the way to do it? Oh, the lip. You're right. Actually, I think it's meant to kind of go down. Oh, it, it, I think it is. To kind of follow it. So your feet are a little bit lower, which is not, that's not horrible, well, right? I don't know. You could get a little bit of foam and... You're right. You could build that up. But, um, or you just have one person sleep on it and just sleep six in here. But mm -hmm. I think we probably would use all seven. No, I think we would. But I like that. Or what you do is you put a sleeper in here that folds out. Oh, there's um, that. Except it's a lot of weight. Sleeper is super yeah, heavy. Yeah, that's true. And what I like is that you can, it's not a bunk, so they can all sit here during the day. It's another sitting area. Yeah. I mean, it's super ugh. That's okay, man. I'm My standards are lower because we're not living in it. It's, it's meant as a vacation yeah. tool, not as like a expression of who we are. But this is, I like this <laughs> bathroom. I think it's a good layout. Um, and I love, you know, as a mom and dad, you want to be able to go straight from your bedroom to the bathroom and not have to walk out and around in your... Which is what we used to have to do yeah. in the old one. And this also, so there's nice. a king size bed in here. Yes! So it's not big, but once again, we're not living in it, so we don't have to do every task of life in here. No. It's great. I'm like, I'm actually super excited to have a RV that I don't have to worry about living in. I can just enjoy it a little bit more. Some good storage in here. And then obviously there's an entrance to our room there as well. Like you don't have to go through the bathroom to get to the room. So I think personally, I think this is a pretty good fit. Okay. So um, we think we may go with that model. It it meets 
all our needs. We don't have to do a lot of construction to it. Um, it's not too big. It's not too small. But well, just it is too small. right. Yeah, it's always, always too small. Too small. Yeah, um, but it has the bath, second bathroom, like we said. And um, but we didn't see any reason to just buy it right now. It's like yeah, it's not going anywhere. Well, um, really, we, even if it is, there are others. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It, maybe there are a couple others away. They're not quite as close though, so that's nice. This one's pretty close to home. So, um, we're either gonna think about it just and let him know this afternoon, or maybe in a couple days, but, cause he's out tomorrow, that sales guy. Um, but we're just talking about what, what we would do, I would make it work, and I think it's pretty straightforward. We just wanna make sure that we give ourselves some time um, maybe do a little bit. It's funny, there are so many RVs and so many floor plans out there that like, it's kind of a never ending thing. It's like dating where it's like, but what if there's someone else? It's like, what if there's another RV that like, just the big, like there's not really that many things you can do at the end of the day to configure a, a travel trailer. Yeah. Um, I think we just want to do a little bit more research into the brand and to, um, I don't know, just there wasn't any reason to hurry. So, and we're gonna have them put a second AC unit into it because that back bedroom can fit a lot of kids, but when you have that many bodies, it gets nighty warm. At least it did. It yeah, used well, it. and if you're, you wanna be able to use it come rain or shine, and when it's really hot outside, that back bedroom can get really hot, and so we wanna make sure that it doesn't kind of like make us not wanna go because it's too hot. But it's exciting, we're, we're happy to have found this option and um, now that we're not doing it full time, it, the, the, the like weight is not on it to meet so many needs because you don't need as much storage, you don't need a washer dryer and all of those things that we really wanted as a family of 11 living in an RV, you know. But we're gonna head home now, we've got some work calls, eat some lunch, uh, get kids home from school, see how Eve's day went. And uh, go from there. All right, so now we're gonna go look at the RV. Um, everybody but Daniel's coming. He just got home and he doesn't feel like going. He's just been gone all day. Um, but we're gonna go look at it and just kind of see how the, what the kids think. And if we everybody's like, yeah, let's do it, then we're gonna buy it. This is really comfy. Yeah, you're loving this mm. thing. Thanks, Shabani. Okay, did you see what we're doing? No. We're here, but yeah, right, we're here at the RV dealership to have one more look. Got a few kids coming out of the car there. One more look at the trailer. Okay, well they let us drive back here to have a look, and it's cold again. Didn't come the mail day when it was a little bit brighter. Let's see um, how these kids fit. There's Andrew's bed. That doesn't look very, <laughs> very, it's, it's not, it's not, um, just the right so as Here, you don't, don't climb in there, like okay? Better. Dude, you sleep and where I go there, you don't want to. On there. This one's no. more private. No, let you go on there and the ash would be dead for this fall. Yeah. Mom, where's the, I guess you just I don't know up. if there's a ladder, there's gotta be a ladder somewhere. Or hey, don't do that, please. Eve, up here. Kind of dark in here. Okay, I'm so we're tall for that, but trying to figure out a spot that Elijah can sleep. That doesn't work. And he had to. He had to. Is that a problem? Looks fine. I can sleep on here with me and Asher. I don't think you get a, a crick in your neck. <laughs> it looks like your head is like cut off. <laughs> Okay. Um, what about you, you Andrew, Andrew? You probably can't even fit. No, there. Andrew won't either. What about even? Uh, Careful now. Like I sleep like this most of the time. Yeah, I'm no, sure. you think, it would be feel really good is, all night not to be able to stretch it. You <laughs> think you sleep that way until you're on a place yeah, somewhere you can't. And then when you can't stretch out your no, legs, you wake up. Oh my like goodness. Feel, okay. Also, Andrew, don't put your feet up there, dude. That'll fall off. This is not like. No. So we've definitely determined that for this to work, we would have to replace How are you doing that, the dinette and the couch it's with so the, these pull-out beds yeah, from Ikea there. that we found. So cool. But at least there's something from Ikea that works, because what they do is they sell this sofa in pieces so you can get it without any arms. 
Yeah, that's so pretty sweet. Two, so this whole thing will just be one big sleeper sofa. Which was oh, was well, similar to what we did in the other one. But better. A little bit different. Okay, so it requires some adjustment, but every every Kid. travel trailer we find does require it. Even our fifth wheel required it for, for our family size. Every kid fits in. No, okay. Well, All right. we plan to do so we popped that RV yesterday. Uh, we went back without the kids, luckily, because you know getting things always takes forever. And it's still over at the Camping World because we had them put in a what is it called? A tankless water heater, so that like we always had hot water because a lot of you know we, it was like the water heater size and that was like one person could take a shower then then we'd all have to wait forever and so we're like we can't do that we got to use we got to be able to use that shower back to back to back to back and so um we put in a tankless water heater we're also putting in a second ac unit because we found that when you put a bunch of kids in a bunk room it's like an oven in there so we're getting an ac unit put in the roof on that and then we're getting new tires on it because if you saw us on our last rv we always had tire problems until we got the new tires that we got. So we're getting those on this one to begin with because we don't want to mess with that. But I am so excited to get it home. I don't know how long it'll take. They haven't figured that out yet. But once we get it home, we are totally overhauling it. It's brand new, but you know, you don't buy an RV for the furniture, you buy it for the layout um, and for the length and the quality. And so we're gonna be pulling out furniture, we're gonna be painting, probably putting in new flooring. If we get it, soon enough I can do that before our first trip but if not we booked a trip already we want to go down to somewhere warm beachy and fun so we've already booked that so if we can't get it before that trip we'll still have to put in a little bit of new furniture but we won't be able to do all the fun renovating that we want to do so now you're caught up to speed that's where we're at um, so Everybody's I love having my kids home. I love homeschooling. I love that Everybody heads off to school and my my home becomes our little sanctuary and the kids are here And we're all together doing our thing So They're all just chatting um, Another thing we've been working on is in the morning. We want them to get through like, you know, some some things like curriculum type things we are I mean we call ourselves unschoolers, but unschooling is kind of a loose term where it's just a child-led curriculum. But it's we flow with that. Uh, we really want our kids to be able to figure out what they're good at and um, explore that and have time for that. But sometimes we know that they don't even know what they're good at until you kind of presented some different ideas to them. So we have them do some kind of reading, writing, and arithmetic in the morning um, through different programs. Um, and they can get through it really quick and then they can start exploring other things they're interested in like Pearl is doing flute She's obviously wants to get her jewelry business off the ground and design a website or use Etsy for that Esther wants to learn more about sign language and she wants to get kind of a hair thing You know, she loves to do her braiding and things off the ground um, but Pearl Peter and Asher and I have been working on a claymation We've just built the set in this closet. I'll show you. Oh, this light's not turned on. Let's see if I can turn it on easily. So there's the little set for the, for the claymation we're working on that we built. And today, the armatures are coming. What's an armature, Ash? Uh, a thing that goes inside your claymation uh, body thing and it keeps it up from not falling out. Yeah, and it also kind of gives it some, yeah, it gives it some structure. Um, so much. It's like it like it slowly floats down, but it oh, goes cool. up really easily. So Asher is super interested in puppetry. And so we're going to do this claymation because those are technically puppets. Yes. But he really wants to get a... Um, Sloppy. He really wants to get a, a ventriloquist dummy and start working on that. So we plan on getting one of those in the next few weeks. And that's it. That's where we're all at. We're doing great. It feels like just so easy coming here. We actually have found that we like this home even more than our Utah house. It just has a great flow to it. Um, it's smaller, but it uses the space better. So really like that. I, I made this so it's a fun place. Right? Oh, fun. It's like a spaceship. 
So, Mike, oh, I forgot. We got this piece of furniture, this mid-century desk. It hutch, and it fits perfectly into this space. We have a little command center. And, um... Um, How are you doing, baby? Duh. Good. That's a crazy outfit. Mm -hmm. So we're good. Everybody's great. So we love you guys, and we're now caught up, and we can vlog and not feel like it's too far behind, and our Instagram's not too far ahead. And, um, yeah. So exciting, fun, happy stuff here. We hope that things are going well for you. Uh, don't forget to check out Lola and Tom. They did not ask me to do this, but I just love them and I wanted everybody to see how amazing they are. Really, I've been, I've seen Paul McCartney and James Taylor and R.E.M. and a bunch of other people in concert, but that was such an enjoyable show. They were so great. So, maybe sometime we can convince them to come stay with us and do a show around these, these parts. But, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and hit that little bell because then you'll be notified when a new video comes up and you won't have to say, what, I haven't seen this video or where did it go or what happened? And you can stay up to date on all the fun stuff that's going on. So, love you guys. Talk to you later.